Hi, and welcome to Morning Coffee with Pizan Academy. I'm Deanna, and most of us throughout the United States have several more months of winter, whether it's just gray skies and lots of rain or tons of snow, we still have to get through until we see that first little glimpse of spring. So today I'm going to bring you the top 15 long novels to get you through the next few winter months. Number 15 is Clarissa by Samuel Richardson. Written in 1748, it's 1,534 pages, and it's one of the earliest novels that has been written, and it's also one of the longer ones that has been written. It traces the life of the title character, Clarissa, and her unfortunate marriage to Robert Lovelace. It is written in epistolary form, which is a series of letters that traces the virtuous woman and her life that she faces in her unfortunate marriage. Number 14, Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. This was written in 1936 and is 1,034 pages. Now you may have seen the movie, but have you read the novel? This traces the life of Scarlett O'Hara through love and war and the changing times in the 1860s. Number 13, Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. This was written in 1878 and is 864 pages. The first of two of his novels on our list, this traces the life of Anna Karenina and her affair that she has with a cavalry officer. It also shows the issues she faces with society's demands and her true desires. Number 12, The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky. This is written in 1879 and is 824 pages, and it is a philosophical tale of four brothers and their mindset after their father is murdered. Number 11, The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. This was published in 1943 and is 753 pages. Set in New York, this is a story of Howard Rourke, an architect who lives with moral certainty in a world where everyone lives for other people. Number 10, East of Eden by John Steinbeck. Published in 1952, this is 608 pages. It is set in the Dust Bowl of California and traces the story of two families that are intertwined over the generations. Number nine, Middlemarch by George Eliot. This was written in 1871 and is 880 pages. This is a novel set in the Industrial Revolution that tells the story of the residents of a fictitious town in provincial England. Number eight, Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray. This novel was published in 1848 and is 720 pages. It is known as a novel without a hero, but it has two heroines and traces their lives as they go through society. Number seven, David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. This was published in 1852 and is 624 pages. Known as his most autobiographical novel, this traces the story of the title character through his childhood and into his life as a novelist. Number six, Moby Dick by Herman Melville. This is our shortest novel. It was written in 1851 and is 585 pages. And it traces the story of Captain Ahab and his search for the white whale. Number five, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. This was written in 1869 and is 1225 pages. It traces the lives of four families in Russia during the Napoleonic invasions. Number four, Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes. This is our earliest novel written in 1605 and it's 863 pages. This comic tale tells the story of the title character who is obsessed with chivalry and his journey through the countryside. Number three, Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. This was written in 1957 and is 1168 pages. This is a mystery story that tells what would happen to the world if all of the productive people disappeared. Number two, Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. This was written in 1862 and the English version has 1400 pages while the French has 1900 pages. Set during the time of the French Revolution, this tells the story of how Jean Valjean is relentlessly pursued for stealing a loaf of bread. Number one, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This was written in 1847 and is 592 pages. This novel traces the life of Jane Eyre, who as a young girl faced a lot of challenges, but that helped her develop this fiery and passionate spirit that follows her throughout her life. I hope you find something new to read on this list and it helps you get through the next few long winter months. 
If you're enjoying our videos, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that notification bell, and also check out our other social media in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.